YouTube. It's your boy, Young Equity Chris. And it's your boy, Young Equity Devin. Let's get it. All right. Get your shorts ready, guys. Trading options is now available on the Robinhood stock. Ticker symbol H-O-O-D. It's had a crazy run up the past couple of days. About how much? Yeah, it's up about, I want to say about 85% wow. in the past uh, week or two. And I'm kind of upset, man. I'm not going to lie, right? Because I want to short this thing so bad for what they did back in January. I cannot believe what happened then uh, with the whole GameStop, AMC, Blackberry fiasco. So like Chris said, your boy Young Equity, get your shorts ready. Get your shorts ready. Yeah, man. Uh, we made a video previously talking about shorting this stock. You know what? I'm going to buy a contract on it tomorrow because it shot up 85%. Don't have a clear reason why. You know, I think the head funds, head fund, hedge funds are pumping it up. But guess what? I'm going to get in on some of the action, too, and I'm going to short them to death. Yeah, man, I'm definitely down. We should do it as a group, honestly, yeah. tomorrow. Um, you know, right now it's Wednesday, but if you watch this recording on Monday, the price of this stock will probably be around 40 bucks, right? Yeah. I mean, think about it like this. With this stock price going up, right, you're seeing a lot of people pull back from AMC. So honestly, this is a good buying opportunity for AMC. Although we're talking about HOOD, you should buy some AMC. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you plugged that in right there. But now in all seriousness, right, since this video is, you know, not getting released in real time, I would not short uh, Robin Hood stock under $60. Okay. So if the stock is under $60, I'll leave it alone. Um, it's already on the way to the ground. But if it, even if it goes higher, if it's $90 by the time this video releases, I'm shortening. Yeah, man. I'm looking at all the comments. I'm looking at all the buzz around it. A lot of people are saying like, okay, cool. It ran up. But people that are making real money, they're going to start taking profit. So there's going to be a lot of bag holding at yep. this point. And even if the hedge funds are in, they're trying to play a game. There are going to be some people that are retail investors that are going to lose their mind. They're going to get in. They're going to uh, get involved with a pump and dump. And I really feel like if you don't know what you're going to do, stay out of this play. Stay out of it completely. If you're not shorting this thing, stay out of this. No, I definitely agree with that. But some people think this company has promise. I mean, yeah. again, you know, I know they offer competitive percentages with margin accounts. Um, and I know that's a big thing, especially for people, you know, who have a lot of wealth in stocks and don't want to pay taxes. Because some of them look at it this way, right? You know, if I have a $100,000 stock portfolio and I need $50,000 to do something, they'd rather pull out 50 k you know, as a loan against their stocks and pay the 2.5% interest versus taking out that 50 k and paying potentially 20% taxes on that, which is what, $10,000? Versus, you know, the 2.5% annual on the 50K. Yeah, man, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, one of the things that I do kind of appreciate about the Robinhood app is that it got retail investors involved. People that didn't go to school, didn't have um, an idea about investing, and people that were young, it, it got them a head start in the game. Some folks that didn't come for money, some people that did. And so I do appreciate that aspect of it. But... When it comes down to individuals like me mm -hmm. who went to school, you know, actually read a book, understand certain things about investing. And, you know, it, it kind of took me away from the, the old school mindset of things. And I didn't like that, yeah. to be honest with you. So um, I'm on the fence with it. I do appreciate that it brings more investors to the community. A lot of people are talking about investing now, which is great. Uh, but I, I think there's a lot of misinformation out there when individuals are playing a, a, a video game investing like Robin Hood. Yeah, and, and you know, and that used to be my argument to defend Robin Hood is that they got so many people into investing, but think about it this way. What if they only got more people involved in investing to have more suckers to make money off of? You know, I know Citadel, you know, is one of their biggest uh, you know, streams of income or investors. So, you know, hey, bring more suckers to the table for us to make money off of, you know. And make it like a game. Try to manipulate them. And if that's what they're doing, then I don't support it at all. No, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, think about it. They're probably getting back ends on this deal, right? Yeah. You, got, you got a young guy who created a business. And I'm not saying, you know, I won't, I won't say the statement, but it's kind of similar to the WeWork situation. Yeah. And it kind of has that, like, cultish vibe to him yeah. where he wants to be the boss of everybody. And I don't really rock with that. But... 
What's the saying? <laughs> what do I know? Because I'm no financial advisor. And I'm not an expert. But thank you guys for checking out this video. It's your boy, Young Equity Chris. It's your boy, Young Equity Devin. Let's get it. Let's go.